We back for update number two for 2022 in the garden. Just to show you what's all like picking up and everything. I just came out the bed for real, like. But it's so cloudy out here today, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I might as well shoot me a little video. But y'all got to see this, like the garden is, is taking off. It's going crazy right now. And I had made a lot of additions, a whole, whole lot of additions. She's going crazy. She's going crazy. <laughs> So I put up these trellises. I went with the plastic little stretchy ones this year because it's um, they way cheaper and easier to manage. But here go my string beans, my pole beans. We did a lot of these because in the previous years, like the beans, they did real good. Like we was eating the whole year. So all that's beans. Then we get to our tomatoes right here on our old fences. We've been trapping the tomatoes for a couple years. All these tomatoes, different species too, different types. I have no idea what's what, but it's a whole lot of different ones. Then we got mo beans on this side. A little radish that then came from the field. Where she at? Get that little white radish. And she ready too. She about to dag on seed. I would have picked it, but I'm gonna go ahead and let her drop them seeds so we can get some more radish. You know? Bean, bean, beans. Oh, oh, you turning yellow down there. Little another radish right there. All my beans that was on this row, I gave away to my uncle because we just, we got more than enough. Two more beans right here. And then this row, we got our peppers. Well, this row, that row, and the row passes. So three rows of peppers. And they go all the way, all different types of peppers. I like peppers. More tomatoes up and down through there. Let's check on our wild lettuce. Our wild lettuce is going crazy. Look at that, man. Ain't that beautiful? The wild lettuce going crazy. It's my breakfast right here. Go ahead and get me a little piece. That's food right there. Oh, look at the milk. Look at that milk. See that? That's the pain medicine right there. That's the pain medicine right there. That's why we call this opium lettuce. Because it got that, you know what I'm saying? that game changer right there. More peppers, more peppers. We go all the way down. Peppers, peppers all the way. Then we got our squash. Squash growing crazy out here. Squash is growing really good. She really like her some sun. They be reaching up praising. Look at them leaves. Reaching the highest heights. And then on the back side of these tomatoes and peppers here, I planted, I planted some peas. And I don't know, yeah, this is it, because that's another one right here. So I planted some some peas right here. I guess these are only two. No, I think that might be that. That might just be a weed. We gonna see on the peas. I don't know. My first time growing them. But right here, we got some zucchini squash. So them two, these three, but yep, these three right here, zucchinis coming up, looking like cucumber plants for real. Two more right there, two more right there. So yeah, zucchini coming up next. And we got mo pep. I know the weeds just look like it looked like just a bunch of green stuff. But yeah, we got our peppers there. Then we get to our cucumbers on our plastic trellises again. So we gonna see how y'all work. But um, so far so good. You see that the cucumbers, they, you know, once you train them where to go, they lock on on their own. 
so um, we're the end of this. See, you can, we can go ahead and put you up, train you where to go, boom. Get it off the ground a little bit. Now cucumbers can, you can let them run the ground or you could trellis them up either way. I like to run them up just to make it more neat and so I can actually find the fruit. Cause if not, I would never find this fruit when they run the ground. You got a ground full of cucumbers and don't even know it. Man, that lettuce got me high. That was the first thing I ate today. I done broke my fast with that. Tomatoes, more tomatoes. You know it's hard to see in all the green, in this sea of green. This the green sea over here. Look at that, man. These plants so smart, bro. They like, they tie themselves. I couldn't even break that. Like, look at that. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Very smart plants. Even on this little stick right here, you see. You can't pull that off. Like, she up. She on that. Got these little new baby cucumbers from the farmer's market. For the low low too. She gave me these plants for nothing. Even gave me an extra. Then another big old cucumber. I'm not lying, bro. We got the kales. We got our kale. I just planted some more right there. And we got some more kales. All the way down. And what in the world happened to those? Wow, somebody came with the lawnmower and cut them yesterday? So yesterday I just got put on by my uncle to something I was unfamiliar with. And apparently, did somebody cut grass yesterday? What in the world? But these right here, check this out. So this is a wild, this is a weed that's over here, right? Well, come from the farm. But these are wild oats, right? Now this is actually a very important plant right here. I was overlooking this thing the whole year and shit, all the previous years. But a wild oak, man. Um, it got some little juice inside of here too. And my fingernails, dirty as hell. I don't know if you can see it, man. This ain't the right one. But Wild oat, man, it's good for the nervous system. Calm your nervous system. And it's actually, it's a good, like, it's a good herb or a good plant for, like, sex organs. You know how they say, sow your wild oats? That's what they talking about right there. <laughs> they literally mean to sow wild oats and eat them and then make you strong. You know what I mean? Make your orgasm deep wild oats so so them wild oats you know what i'm saying and then if we come out here and look in the look in the bean field we'll see that the oats is just you know what i'm saying the wild oats they everywhere out like they stretch this whole field man a bunch of wild oats so yeah basically just come out here every day man and just you know what i'm saying eat me some wild oats when can i show you milk that be inside of here mm. and I just chew on them and spit them out but I mean they taste just like oh <laughs> they taste just like that well they don't taste just like that cereal but that cereal I mean tastes just like these Like yesterday, the first one that I squished, that little oil came out. Beginners look like a mug. But yeah, when you see them, just bite them. Like sunflower seeds. Just like nothing. So that right there, what I just showed you is my full sun portion of the garden. And I got the garden split in two halves. I got the shaded part, 
where we got the pecan tree and everything grows that grows in the shade will grow underneath of there but all this stuff behind me here that's our full sun garden so our string beans our tomatoes our peppers our cucumbers our squash and i got the kale over there as well kale can go either way you know it can go in the full sun it can go in the shade whatever you know so just for space purposes i put her out there so that's half one second half dun, 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 dun. right so the mints sage lettuce and so as we can see our lettuce is going to seed already we in early june lettuce going to seed i'm not going to touch it i'm going to let it do its thing naturally and we're going to have lettuce forever and ever and ever right and we can still eat off the lettuce too you know everything down low we can still eat it look at that just a field of lettuce look like corn it's crazy now yesterday i put some new plants in the ground so we got our oregano oregano flow you know what i'm saying first time growing some oregano but i mean this one was already growing super gigantic and this is you no know, just italian oregano yeah so we got the oregano i got a cinnamon basil my first time seeing this one so i had to get it and matter of fact i haven't tasted you yet so let's see what you taste like Let's see. It almost tastes just like Thai basil. Yeah, it tastes like Thai basil. Even look like Thai basil a little bit. I didn't get no cinnamon, but it's cool. And then beside her, we got our regular sweet basil. Which just, it always looks sad. Like, I don't hate how these basils be looking all curled over. But I guess that's just how she look. Did somebody bite you yesterday? But yeah, so I love me some basil. I love to cook with that stuff. It's good, good. I also put some parsley in uh, yesterday. First time growing the parsley as well. So good, good. Got my root. Still ain't looked up this root plant and why did I even put it here, but it's here. And one day I'm gonna look it up and see why I got it. Then we got our, I bought this yesterday too. This is a pineapple mint. So I like new plants that I ain't grown yet. So we gonna chase this one too. Pineapple mint. It's a weird looking leaf. Not a bad taste. I like got aunt pulling up. <laughs> I had to go help him um, do his radio. Pull up in the big boy. So yeah, we might have to come back to this video in a little bit. We'll get my baby cleaned up. She need a new window. Well, we got it working. No, that's that's the same ground that's coming up here. That this ground, the ground running past that. The ground hooked up. It's a it's a wire coming out the back of the radio that's connected to that ground. Ah, uh, so we back. I had to handle some business real quick. But um, yeah, back to where we left off. I think we was at the celery. So let's look at that. So my celery is growing up super tall, seeding. Got one little lettuce growing up in here. Now that's wild lettuce too. I might eat me some of this celery. Mm -hmm. When it's flowering, I just eat from the bottom. Eat a little piece. Stay hydrated. Got my shade celery. I mean shade lettuce. Lettuce always grows better in the shade. And I don't really mind these weeds because they're not really that invasive. 
This is my mystery plant, which I forgot what it is. Look like cabbage, but I know I ain't planting no cabbage. So I'm gonna find out what this is in a gif. Then it's the okra. Okra coming along nicely. They coming along very nicely. First time growing some okra. I like it. You can get up out of here. This thing, you know, my nerves, bro. These is everywhere. But cilantro going to see. We in the coriander phase. And so new cilantro is popping up everywhere. I seen one yesterday over here. I forgot. Oh. It was here, go. Look at this cilantro. All the way over here. Now they growing over there. Right, that whole row, all that flowery stuff. And she done made her way all the way over here. Which is cool. I'ma move it, but not right now. Um the mints. The mints and the mints, the lemon balm and the peppermints and the spearmints and the even got the chocolate mints. And the ginger mint and the catnip. That sun that came out now. Goodness. Goodness. Did that sun see that all that stuff I had to do then threw my threw my lighting off, but it's all Gucci. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what we got happening in the garden. Um right now. Trying to think if it's anything else we need to look at. The fruit popping off for real right now though. That's really what's 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 happening. It's the fruit fruit. Mm -hmm. So let's take a little quick little peek at the fruit and see what's happening. So the grapes is looking superb. And these are red grapes, so you see the red dye. coming in and they'll get redder and redder but they start off green i ran this like garden twine I, well i put these t's up little crosses and then i ran this to trellis these grapes get them some support so they can actually grow and put out and i just gotta run it to the other side i just been lazy i ain't done this side yet so that's coming fix that up you can see our blackberries these will be next up or in fact a couple of these is ready and them blackberries get out look at these damn june bugs though man i hate them they be humping all up on these leaves they eating the leaves the fruit and eating themselves watch you get plucked off yeah. just be tearing everything up she just came right off blackberry A little sour. It one, this one look a little bit better. <sighs> Tastes a little bit better too. Nice size too. This like year five or so on the blackberries. So we trapped these off. Too hard. Got me another one. And this is breakfast every day for real. You come outside, it's nothing to just get your breakfast directly off the tree. It's real easy. Real easy. So good, good, good. Between those, the strawberries, and these right here. The raspberries. So I've been eating these every day for like the past couple weeks now. I'm with a little one. Good, good. Mm. I can sit out here all day and eat these. I can't eat nothing. Mm. All the purple ones. Mm-hmm. I don't even take them in the house. Just eat these. Blueberries coming soon. 
apple from that bush. Here go my favorite raspberry here. These fall gold. This is right. That's how they look. Put out yellow and orange raspberries. So that's some fly stuff. I love it. And they sweeter than the red ones for real. See if we got any more of them. Well, she not ready yet. They like green and they turn orange, turn yellow. Mm. Super ripe back there though. We had two super ripes. Yeah. Man, ain't nothing better than this right here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So the raspberry just lined this whole little shit. Every day. And the more you harvest, the more it grows. That's the key. I mean, we got some, these the sharp blue blueberries. They disappear, like, I don't know. This joint had berries on it, bro, and nobody ate them. Like, I don't know where they going. I don't know where they going. So the blueberries, I don't be having the best look. But the reds and the black and the straw, mm-hmm. I'm just, I, they get addictive. Mm. Set them things up. And then the wild lettuce, we just let it grow down here. You know what I'm saying? Or at least I let it grow down here. And you see, we got like, we even got different species of wild lettuce. So you got this kind, I think they would call this like the prickly lettuce. And then you got the kind that's just um, like a round leaf. Still wild lettuce, nonetheless. All this down here. Different strands and species of them. So that's fly. Just to add that in there too. And one more thing. Here we got the OG original strawberry. Like now these not the cultivated strawberries that you would get out the grocery store. This the like original native strawberry. And let me get another one. The strawberry. Well they call them snake berries, but they were the strawberries you buy them. They where they come from. And I see why they did what they did to make the strawberries taste how they taste. Cause these, these don't taste like nothing. If you ever had nothing, that's what this tastes like. Tastes like nothing with water inside of it. But usually the nothing is what we need. That's the real food and the real medicine. When it don't have no taste or it tastes like nothing or just taste like bitter or whatever that'd be the real food <laughs> you know what I mean? all that sweet stuff just sugar ain't doing nobody no good just taste good let me get these real strawberries man you know what i'm saying but yeah i just had to throw that in there snake berries look the same too so if we look in our strawberry patch and we get us, let's say one of these cultivated strawberries, this one ain't the ripest. These is really done for the moment. We done pretty much ate them all, but they will be back, you know, give it about a month or so. Whoop, whoop. There go one. She didn't got dug into though. And let's see if we can find us one of these little snake berries. It's a little mini one here. Yeah, so as you can see, I mean, it's essentially the same thing. It got the same leaf on it. It's just the little seed things on the cultivated strawberries, yellow, and the ones on the original strawberries, just all red. But they grow on the same leaf, essentially. And it's basically the same thing. It's just the ones we eat are sweet. And these ones is just like a nothing with water. You let me get a, uh, a nothing with some water. <laughs> yeah, man. Out here living that good life. Eating off the tree. 
You know what I'm saying? They talking about a food shortage. Bitch, where? Bitch, where? You fuck you talking about? Y'all out there paying farmers to burn down for fields and shit like that. Talking about a food shortage, man. Everything fake. Grow your own food. That's another day. Grow your own breakfast. Grow your own lunch. And grow your own dinner. And on that note, we out. Cause I'm here. It's going on, yo. What's the you porn?